Hello everyone, today we will learn about how you can record your screen, whether you use a PC or a Mac and that too free of cost. It is especially useful if you want to record a training session that you may have been taking or maybe giving online. Well, in today's world, most of the things are online anyways. It is going to be especially helpful if you want to start a YouTube channel or already have one and are facing issues in your current software. Watch this video till the end to learn how you can record your screen for free. So let's get started. So what you need to do is very, very simple. You need to go in whatever search engine you're using. I'm using Google here and download a free software OBS which stands for Open Broadcaster Software. So let me quickly search OBS, click enter. Here you will see the first option that is coming is from the website obsproject.com followed by download and it says download OBS Studio. So we will click on that, we will go to the next page. And here as you can see it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So in this video, since I'm using a Windows platform, I will be showing how you can install and use it on Windows platform and you can do the similar thing on Mac and Linux as well. Once you download this file, which is very simple, you just need to click on the download installer here and here it says it's version 26.0.2 and released on 6th of October 2020 and that this OBS version supports Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. Since I'm using Windows 10, so I'm good to go. All I need to do is download the installer from here. I have a couple of other options to download in case this does not work for you. I will skip the step on how you will download and install the file because that is like any other exe file that you will download for the Windows or a DMG file on a Mac. So let me quickly switch to the OBS interface and show you how it looks. As you may see, it might seem very intimidating at first that there are so many things, the screen in front of screen and so on. But what exactly is it and is it difficult or is it easy? Well, honestly, when I looked at it for the first time with no background at all of video recording or editing, I thought it might be very difficult. But believe me, when I started using it, it is one of the most easy softwares. And I will tell you five steps that you need to use. And if you follow these five steps, believe me, you will be able to record the videos just like I do, including the noise cancellation and things like those. So so let's get started. A small disclaimer, I'm currently recording this video using the same software so it might show a couple of things which may not be available when you simply download and install the software. So I will tell you what I have done, what you need to do and how it will be. So step one, this source if you see will actually be blank and since we want to capture our screen, so what we will do is we will go click on the plus icon here. On here, you will see there are around 14 options. What you need to do is select the best one that suits you to just record your screen. What you need to do is go and click on the display capture. In case if you just want to do an audio capture, you'll select audio input capture. I have shown you here that I have added the display capture device and as soon as you turn on this display capture, you will see that there'll be multiple screens inside the screen, inside the screen and so on. This is basically now it is capturing your screen and since your screen is showing one of this screen, so that is being replicated again and again till infinity. So this is the step one. Now let's move on to the next step. Step number two, you need to go to settings here on the right side. When you click on the settings, you'll see a couple of options pop up. You don't need to go into detail of all the options right away, but maybe once you start using the software, you might like to go and explore the other options as well. So let me tell you the important options or the important steps that you need to follow in this particular step. What you need to do is you need to go on the third option of output in here right now most of the things are disabled because i'm currently recording but what you need to do is in the recording path you need to go browse and select the location where you want to save your recorded videos in here by default it says for me c colon slash user slash vkj slash videos you can select whatever path you want the next option here is recording quality by default, it is set at high quality, medium file size. In the beginning, I recommend you keep it this way. In future, if you want to maybe record 4K videos or higher and select the better one, but remember the file size is going to be very, very heavy. The next is the recording format. Here, the option of MKV is set by default. And 
you might think that MKV is not the one which I want to upload on YouTube or probably save because that may or may not be playable everywhere. So why not simply change it to MP4? But believe me, you want to keep it at MKV because when you are recording, you don't want any losses to happen. In case if you select MP4 and then you start your recording and there are some issues in that scenario, a lot of data may be lost. Therefore, you should select MKV later, remix the same and convert it into mp4 i will show you that step as well so in step two you this is the thing where you need to go and change the settings in output and i have told you here you need to first choose the recording path number two the recording quality let it be a default number three recording format let it be a default in mkv in case it has changed then you need to go and change it again now step number three go to the audio settings in here you need to select the desktop audio the default is for the output and in the input like i'm using the condenser mic and it's a usb mic i selected the microphone as the usb condenser microphone and in here you have couple of options in case if you don't want to use this one or you want to use your built-in microphone well in the beginning i started using the boya microphone but somehow the quality was not as good then i switched to a different kind of microphone i recently purchased this condenser microphone from mauna au a04 and it seems to be pretty good however i did not have a very good experience in purchasing this but the mic seems to be good so that was your step three and this is very easy as you can see step four go to the audio mixture here in the center the middle pane and here select the level of noise or the volume that you want to record now you may be able to see that since i'm recording this at the same time the volume level is going up and down and there might be a difference in my volume as well so that was the fourth step now i'm moving on to the fifth step in fact this is the most important one so watch this video till the end if you miss on this step believe me you'll be facing some of the issues so in the fifth step what you need to do is you need to go and click on this mouse pocket on the right side along with the mic or the auxiliary line and once this pops up you need to go and select the filters in filters as you can see i have added a filter which is noise suppression and here what i have done is i have selected this at minus 30 db you can always play around with it and see what noise suppression level suits you and this is an important step because if you don't do this believe me you'll be able to hear some noise in the background i still remember from my earlier videos that I was speaking but I could also hear a lot of noise and I had to literally put a background audio with my video so that I can suppress that noise but still it was audible. So this is a very important step. Let me add one thing which I forgot. You need to come here click on this right now it says stop recording but in your case when you'll start it it will say start recording once you click the start recording button you'll be good to go you'll be able to record your entire screen and once you click stop it will stop the recording you need to go to file show recordings once you click on show recordings you'll be able to see a list of all the files that you have recorded and this would be basically in the mkv format so what you need to do is you need to go to file and remix recordings when you click remix recording it will ask you for the option of source and the target you can simply select the source target leaving uh, the blank or the automatic one and click on remux once it's remuxed it will be converted into mp4 format and you'll be good to go to upload it or share it with anyone you want whenever you are recording you can simply minimize the obs the way i did here and you can share whatever screen you want and it will be recorded and your voice will also be recorded believe me it will be very useful for you i will share some of the instances where i have used it well my company uses one of the erps and the training sessions are expensive so what i did was whenever we had a training and because in today's scenario most of the trainings are being done online so i started recording my screen and once it was done now i have a library of all the training sessions and whenever someone in my company wants something to be checked rather than going back to the erp company and paying again for their expensive training we just refer to the videos which i have recorded and it's good to go similarly i remember there was a presentation that i was giving once and i wanted it to be published on youtube so that whoever who could not attend my presentation can go and look at it so i just recorded my screen along with the webcam so that people can see that it's me as well 
and then i just went to youtube and posted it so now my training session was available for everyone free of cost on youtube and especially for the people who wanted to take benefit out of that so there are many advantages and in today's scenario you'll be able to take many more advantages as well because most of the people are working from home well i hope you have understood how easily you can record your screen and along with voice if required if you have any other question feel free to leave a comment below or drop me an email my email id is in the description box below if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go and click on the red subscribe button below and also click on the bell icon so that you get notification for all my future videos i have already created more than 60 videos about different different things some focusing on excel tutorials sheet tutorials pdf to word and many more take benefit of all these videos by going to my channel that's all for today folks i'll be back soon with more videos thanks for watching till now cheers and have fun